Brian Lynch here. It is April 4th, uh, 2012, out at the house, and uh, I just received in a shipment of five pawpaws uh, shipped bare root from Hidden Springs Nursery. This one here is a uh, NC1, and you can see it's got a, a pretty decent uh, tap root on it. And uh, it's uh, definitely uh, grafted last year. It's certainly twig like and uh, kind of pricey at uh, 20 bucks for a twig, but. Uh, for pawpaws, that seems to be about the going rate, and uh, hopefully this thing will take off uh, quite well and uh, produce some good uh, high-quality sign wood that I can graft onto all of those uh, seeds that I'm germinating right now as well. May 11, 2012, uh, Brian Lynch here. Just received in a order of nine pawpaw trees from Burnt Ridge Nursery uh, off on the uh, northeast or northwest. And uh, as you can see, they're all shipped in their own little black containers, and uh, many of them have already leafed out, uh, which, uh, considering it's uh, May 11th, is not too surprising. Uh, one problem I've seen so far is that uh, in the box here, there were a fair number of leaves and branches that got ripped off during shipping. Uh, this probably could have been avoided had they shipped them to me in, say, April, uh, before all the trees had leafed out. May 30th, 2012, Brian Lynch here, and I just received in a shipment of pawpaw trees from uh, One Green World Nursery out of Oregon. So uh, now that I've opened up the uh, package of pawpaws, I've got to say these things are great looking trees. Uh, even though I was a little concerned about uh, when they were shipped, uh, it, you know, it looks like uh, One Green World did an absolutely fantastic job of shipping these things. They're extremely well packed, uh, hardly any leaves at all. Uh, were ripped off during the shipment process, so they really did a good job of packing these. And uh, I'm pretty impressed. And uh... August 12th, 2012 now. Uh, eventually all of the trees from Hidden Springs Nursery did leaf out. Uh, they were all planted out at the orchard. Uh, and unfortunately, since I can only get out to the orchard on the weekends to water them, and Indiana has been going through an incredible drought, uh, they all did die. Uh, the trees from Burnt Ridge nursery were planted out at the orchard as well, and two out of the nine are uh, still holding on. Uh, they're quite stressed, but uh, they're, they're hanging on. Uh, since I was able to see what was going on with the other trees out at the orchard, I uh, kept all the trees from One Green World back at the house, and I've been watering them two to three times a week. Uh, because of all this watering, they've uh, been doing quite well. Uh, since the conditions this year have been so weird, uh, I really can't make a recommendation as to uh, which nursery I like the most.